Hare Krishna. Welcome all the devotees for today's session on Srimad Bhagavatam. We'll start with recitation of the prayers. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chayva Naruttamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudirayat Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Nashtiki Hare Krishna. So we will continue with the uh, next two shlokas in the series that that is shloka number 15 and 16. So kindly repeat after me. Yat Anudhyana Sina Yukta just a second. I hope I am audible. Karma Granthi Nibandhanam. Karma Granthi Nibandhanam. Karma Granthi Nibandhanam. Hindanti Covid Hatasya Ko. Chintanti <laughs> Sevaya Vipra Sevaya Vipra Punyat Nirtha Niveshana Nishevana Nishevana Karma <laughs> Vasudeva Katharuchi Vasudeva Katharuchi Tata Mahat Sevaya Vipraha Siana Mahat Sevaya Vipraha Punya Tirthani Shevanat Punya Tirthani Shevanat Please everyone can uh, uh, observe neatly Yat Anus Anudas Asina Yukta Yet Anudasina Yukta Anudas Yukta Yet Anudas Hare Krishna Mataji. Yad Anudhyasena Yukta Karma Granti Nibandanam Chindanti Kobe Kona Kuryat Katharitam Shushru Shadhanasya Vas 
शुश्रूषोश्रद्धानस्य वासुदेव कथा रुचि सियान महत सेवया विप्र पुण्य तीर्थ निषेवणात एवरी मार्ट यू कैन अनेटली अटरिंग नाउ आशीष कुमार प्रभु जी प्लीज रिसाइड यद अनुधाम ध्यासीना युक्ता कर्म ग्रंथ ग्रंथि निबंधनम चिंदन श्री कोविदास्तस्य कोहना कुर्यात कतारतिम कोहना कुर्यात कोहना कुर्यात कतारतिम सुश्रुषो श्रद्धानस्य वासुदेवा कतारुचि ही स्यानमाह सेवया विप्रह पुण्य तीर्थ निसेवना वर्ड टू वर्ड मिनि यत व्हिच अनुध्या रिमेंबरन्स आस्तिना स्वर्ड युक्त बीइंग इक्विप विद कर्म रिएक्शनरी वर्ड ग्रंथि नॉट निबंधनम इन इंटर इंटरनेट चिन कोविद इंटेलिजेंट वासुदेव इन रिस्पेक्ट टू वासुदेव कथा द मेसेज डेफिनेटी इज मेड पॉसिबल महत सेवया By service rendered to pure devotees, we pray all twice born, punya tirtha. Those who are cleansed of all vices, nishe vanat by service. Translation and purport by the Shri La Prabhu Pad Jagat Guru Shri La Prabhu Pad ki jai. Which sort in hand intelligent men cut through the binding knots of next birth karma by remembering the personality of God. Therefore. Who will not pay attention to his message? Or twice born say. Who are completely freed from ability for hearing the message of Sudev? Ah, uh, perpet by the Shri La Prabhupad, Jagat Guru Shri La Prabhupad ki jai. The contact of the spiritual spark with material elements create a knot which must be cut if one wants. Uh, to break it from the actions and reactions of pretty work liberation means freedom from the cycle of reactionary work or uh, the li this liberation automatically um, follows uh, for one who constantly remember the transcendental past times of the personal attendant this is because all that is supreme lord his leela are transcendental to <coughs> they are all attracted to spiritual activities of the supreme lord ultimately save up of devotional service attainment of spiritual knowledge is not sufficient to ensure liberation such knowledge must be overcoated With devotional service, so that ultimately the devotional service alone predominates. The liberation is made possible when even the reactionary uh, work of the primitive workers liberation when it is overcoated with devotional service. the contact of overcoated with devotional service is called karma yoga similarly empirical knowledge overcoated with devotional service is called gyan yoga but pure bhakti yoga is independent of such karma and gyan because it alone can not only end you one with liberation from conditional life but also award one the transcendental loving uh, service of the lord therefore any sensible man 
who is above the average man with a poor fund of knowledge must simply remember the personality of god and by hearing about him by glorifying him by remembering him and by worshiping him always without cessation that is the perfect way of devotional service the goswami is of vrinda who were authorized by shrila chaitanya mahaprabhu the bhakti cut originally followed this rule made immense literal science for our benefit they have chalked out a ways for all classes of men in terms of different caste and orders of life in the pursuance of the teaching of shrimad bhagavatam and similar other authoritative scripture the condition life of a living being is caused by his revolting against the lord there are men called dev or godly living being and there are men called asuras or demons who are against the authority of the supreme lord in the Bhag- bhagavad gita 16th chapter a vivid uh, description of the asuras is given in which it is said that the asuras are put into lower and lower state of ignorance life after life and so sink to the lower animal forms and have no information of the absolute truth the personality of godhead uh, these asuras are gradually rectified to god consciousness by the mercy of the lord's liberated servant according to the supreme will such duties of god are very confidential associates of the lord and when they come to save uh, human society from the dangers of godlessness they are known as the powerful incarnations of the lord as sons of the lord as servants of the lord or as associates of the lord but none of them falsely claim to be god uh, themselves this is a blasphemy a uh, blasphemy uh, declared by the asuras and the demoniac uh, followers of such asuras also accept pretenders as god or his incarnation in the revealed scripture there is definite uh, information of the incarnation of god no one should be accepted as god or an incarnation of god unless he is confirmed by the revealed scripture the servants of god are to be respected as god by the devotees who actually want to go back uh, to godhead such servants of god are called mahatmas or tirthas and they preach according to particular time and place the servants of god urge people to become devotees of the lord no. they were never tolerate being called god of uh, called god sri chaitanya mahaprabhu was god himself according to the indication of the revealed scripture but he played the part of a devotee people who knew him to be god addressed him as god but he used to block his ears with his hands and chant the names of lord vishnu he strongly protested against being called god although undoubtedly he was god himself the lord behaves so to warn us against unscrupulous men who take pleasure in being addressed as god the servants of god come to propagate god consciousness and intelligent people should cooperate with him, with them in every respect by serving the servant of god one can praise uh, please god more than by di- directly serve the lord the lord is more pleased when he sees that his uh, servants are properly respected because such servants risk everything for the service of the lord and so are very dear to the lord the lord declares in the bhagavad gita 18.69 that no one is dearer to him than one who risks everything to preach his glory by serving the servants of the lord one gradually gets the quality of such servants and thus one becomes qualified to hear the glories of god the eagerness to hear about god is the first qualification of a devotee eligible for entering the kingdom of god om gyanati mirandasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshur militam ena tasmay sri gurave nama sri chaitanya mano bishtam sthapitam ena bhutale swayam rupa padamayam dadati sva padantikam vande aham sri guruho sri tapada kamalam sri gurun vaishnavancha श्रीरूपं साग्रजातं सगण रघुनाथान्वितं तम सजीवं 
साधैतम सावदूतम प्रजन सहितम कृष्ण चैतन्य देवम श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान स्वगण ललिता श्री विशाखांच नमो ओम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे पंचाकूपे चृपा सिंधुबे पतिता पावणे वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण इन कैंटो फर्स्ट चैप्टर सेकंड डिविनी एडवाइन सर्विस वी कंटिन्यूंग द श्लोक नंबर फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन इन टू श्लोक दे आर डिस्क्राइबिंग अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ द हरिणाम संकीर्तन एंड हाउ द मटेरियल बॉन्डेज इज लिबरेशन फ्रॉम मटेरियल बॉन्डेज इज बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड हाउ कर्मयोगा एंड वॉट इज कर्मयोगा एंड ज्ञान योगा देन दे डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द कंडीशन लाइफ ऑफ अ लिविंग बींग इज कॉज बाय द रिवोल्टिंग अगेन्स्ट द लॉर्ड एंड अगेन दे डिस्क्राइब अबाउट द हू आर महात्मा और तीर्था एंड हाउ द सर्वंट ऑफ गॉड अर्ज पीपल टू बिकम ड्यूटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड अगेन दे डिस्क्राइब अबाउट दैट द इगरनेस टू हियर अबाउट गॉड इज द फर्स्ट क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ अ डिओटी एलिजिबल फॉर Entering the kingdom of God, Prabhu Ji will tell you in detail. Hare Krishna, then. Hare Krishna. So basically, let us continue from where we were leaving. So we saw it is the duty of everyone to hear Shrotavya. So it is Shrotavya ke tavashya cha. So hearing and then chanting and then Deya. Deya means. meditating or remembering and then deha pujya nityada pujya is worshiping and nityada is regularly but for whom bhagavan satvatam pati the supreme personality of godhead who is the master of everyone they are and we as devotees we recognize krishna that he is the only creator anadir adir govinda and that is why he takes responsibility of his devotees but not of the demons so it is the duty of devotee to hear him the hearing process is bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam and kirtatavya cha and narrate also so unless one narrates or unless one speaks one cannot hear so the two processes are going on someone is hearing someone is chanting or speaking and when we hear and chant then automatically it is meditation and then puja means worship the simple process of worship in this age is this performance of chanting hearing and offering some fruits flowers diya that's all so very simple we just have to follow this principle and how ekena manasa with one attention without diverting our attention to any other subject matter so prabhupa ji says that if you follow this principle ekena manasa to hear to chant to think of and to worship the simple process will get us our required objective so what is the benefit of this process that comes in this shloka the benefit of this process is 
कर्म ग्रंथि निबंधनम कर्म ग्रंथि निबंधनम चिंदंती तो चिंदंती मींस कट ऑफ सो व्हाट इज इट दैट इज गेटिंग कट ऑफ नाउ बिकॉज़ ऑफ आवर एक्टिविटीज देयर आर नॉट्स व्हिच आर क्रिएटेड सो विदाउट परफॉर्मिंग दिस सेरेमनी दिस प्रोसेस और विदाउट फॉलोइंग द इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू हियर चैट थिंक वर्शिप we cannot come out of the great knot of our material activities and this knot of material activities keeps us bounded now how does this develop it develops because of our activities like my past activities created this body similarly by my present activity i am also creating my next body so this transmigration of soul tatha dehantara prapti is going on but the moment we adopt the process of bhakti of krishna consciousness then karma granthi nibandhanam chindanti the not one after another maybe of innumerable lifetimes they will be cut off so it is but obvious that we have to do it and that is why in the shloka it is said tasya na ko na kuryat katha aratim by an intelligent man will not engage himself in hearing about the topics of krishna is there any difficulty no and it is not that this is coming only in this particular uh, chapter in fact there is uh, one very wise uh, nice verse in brahma sahita which was quoted by shri prabhupad when he was uh, discussing on this topic यह तव इंद्र गोपम अथवेन्द्र अहोस्व कर्म बंधना अनुरूप फल भाजनम अथ आतनोति कर्मा निर्दहति किंतु च भक्ति भाजम गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तम हम और भजारी सो देर वॉज अ स्मॉल बैक्टेरिया कॉल एज इंद्र गोप एंड देन वी हैव इंद्र सो दिस श्लोक इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इंद्र गोप एंड इंद्र बोध हु इज द किंग ऑफ द हेवन सो फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम दैट बैक्टेरिया टू द किंग ऑफ हेवन everyone is enjoying or suffering according to own activities and all those who walk in this path of work according to the chain of previously performed work everyone is bound so we have to surrender to krishna and i adore that premio lord govind who burns up the roots of all fruitive activities that is why we need to have attraction to hear about vasudev vasudev katha which means to hear about krishna so in bhagavad gita krishna is speaking about himself personally and shrimad bhagavatam also speaking about krishna by shri vyasdev so both things are about krishna and even chaitanya mahaprabhu he has told us the same thing amara ageya guru hasatara yei desha yare dekhatare ka krishna upadesha instead everyone to follow the orders of lord krishna as they are given in bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam in this way become a spiritual master and try to liberate everyone in this land so this mentality for hearing krishna katha we need to develop it and then the question comes how do we develop it and that is also answered in this question in this shloka it is sushruvaha we must be very sincere and we must be inquisitive to hear sushruvaha so one who is very eager to hear he can become in future a preacher shushruva shraddha dhanasya sa shraddha dhanasya is with faith vasudeva katha ruchi ruchi means test and vasudeva katha means the topics of krishna and this is also possible if you are fortunate enough to come in contact of a great soul math seva math means great and if we serve him if you want to please him math sevaya vipraha now one more thing which comes here is tirtha so there are two kinds of sacred places tirtha means sacred places so places which are a direct reflection of that of krishna the golok and the places where the krishna leela has taken place so we know about vrindavan and then all the other sacred places so the thing is we must be very eager very much eager and when we are eager krishna will actually send us now krishna is within us so we and krishna that is the soul and the super soul both are there in the heart so as soon as krishna understands that here is a soul who is actually wanting transcendental elevation he makes us connect with such person 
will guide us on Krishna Katha. And that is what is mentioned in Bhakti Bhagavad Gita also. Tesham Satata Yukta Nam Bhajatam Priti Purvakam Buddhi Yogam Dadami Tam Yena Mamupayanti. To those who are constantly devoted and worshipping with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. So God wants to see us how much we are eager. And with the development of that eagerness and sincerity to have knowledge in spiritual understanding, Krishna will himself help us. And he'll ensure that we are able to approach an appropriate Guru. So the word Mahatseva which comes here in this shloka is if by chance we get in contact with a great personality, great soul who knows Krishna and Krishna Katha, we must try to please him. And if you see that is why in the morning every day we sing Yasya Prasadat Bhagavad Prasad. Because without his mercy, we cannot get anything. So if we cannot please a representative of God, a bona fide representative of Krishna, then there is no hope. Our life is hopeless. No chance of our spiritual advancement. And that is why the first duty in the morning is that the highest towards the Sya, Yashastri Sandhyam. So we have to remember about Krishna's glories and we have to offer our respectful obeisances unto him three times at least in a day. Three Sandhyam. So three Sandhyam means one in the morning, when the night is being passed and day is beginning, that is the dawn. Second is, that is first sandhyam, junction. Second is when the sun is on the meridian. That is second junction. And third is when the day is passing and night is beginning. So that is the third sandhyam. That is the third junction. So, we have to serve Krishna. We have to remember Krishna. And we have to serve Guru three sandhyam. All three times we have to offer our obeisances. Mahatseva. Because that will help us in making advancement in spiritual knowledge. And the last aspect which comes here is we should also be visiting sacred places. It may not always be possible to visit because few of the places are very distant places. But as and when we get opportunity, we need to visit. We have to visit the Dhamma and undergo Dham Darshan. But then Dham Darshan is not with this material eyes. It has to be through the years by listening about the dham from a bona fide soul who has come in the parampara, evam parampara prapta. So when the person with whom we are going to the dham, he explains the glories of the dham. It is through these years, the hearing of the glories, that we realize the dham and we understand the importance of all the leelas of Krishna which have happened there. And thus, we get the benefits. Hare Krishna. So these are the important aspects we take home today. One, importance of hearing, importance of chanting, importance of preaching. Second, the importance of Tirthasthan. Third, importance of Afir, importance of Mahat Sevaya, that is serving the Guru and how it has to be done. A remembrance of Krishna has to be done three times a day. Hare Krishna.